back here at Brooklyn Bridge Park, Pier Number 5. We're with the player of the match, Ali Tsunkari. You had that great header goal, the game-winning goal here today. What was kind of going through your mind as you were kind of coming up the pitch on that uh, deciding goal you had? Oh, I saw Amir uh, dribbling on the left, and I know he's able to just pass the defender, so I just wanted to be at the right place to put the goal in the net. And when you bury your first goal of the season, how, how nice of a kind of a feeling is that? And not only to do it, but in a way that gives your team a win as well. Oh yeah, it's personally it's, uh, always good to you know score for forward. It's good for confidence, and uh, the conference are coming uh, in two weeks, so it's good you know to get confidence. And yeah, we are tying for we, we're doing one one against Howard, so um, yeah, it's good to get the the win for the team. Mm -hmm. After a couple of tough losses in the non-conference, how big is it just? As a, from a team-wide standpoint, to come away with this victory today with just one more game before the conference play starts. Oh yeah, yeah. we were saying this in the locker room that we have to win the next two games to be very confident, to get uh, our highest confidence uh, that we can get before the conference call. We have a, a title to defend, and I know the seven other team want us to just lose our title. So, but we're going to be ready to defend our title. All right, thank you very much. That's Ali Tsukar, player of the match. We'll take a quick step aside. We'll come back with head coach Tom Chivato after this on the Terrier Sports Network. Back at Pier 5 at Brooklyn Bridge Park, joined by victorious head coach Tom Chivato. And coach, after Howard tied things up in the 63rd minute, how would you feel about the way that the team closed things out today? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a big win today. Uh, Amir had a great game, beating guys down the line all day. Found Ali. It's good to have him back, uh, even though he's playing short minutes. But it's good to have him, and hopefully we get him some more minutes out of him. And you know, anytime he steps on the field, he's dangerous. So it was great to see him score his first goal of the season. Hopefully, more to come. Coming off the tough loss Wednesday against NJIT, how did you feel overall about the way that the team responded here with the effort today? Yeah, I mean, we played sensational against NJIT. It was just uh, one of those days. Had a lot of bad luck hit the post twice, um, I and mean, when you outshoot a team 19 to one, uh, you know, there's not much you can say to the guys and stuff, you know, they had a great game and, uh, you know, that's what we, yeah, we said, hey, we played great, let's continue to play that way, we're gonna get results and uh, we got one today. Mm -hmm. Looking ahead to St. Peter's last non-conference game of the season coming up next weekend, what do you kind of see out of the Peacocks that, uh, that we could be looking out for? You know what, I haven't looked too much into them right now. Uh, we have enough problems as it is, so we're just trying to fix our problems. But uh, we do know they're doing well, and in their last couple of games, uh, I think they have two wins and a tie in their last three games. So they're playing much better. They're feeling good about themselves. But, uh, you know, hopefully we get some more of these guys back and uh, we'll be closer to full strength on Saturday. All right, thank you very much for your time, Coach. Thank you.